Yeah, I've realized that people don't keep track of what they've been saying. I think it's better I put it on. You have to really be careful because you can also follow your intuition and get to the other way around. So, welcome home. I'm a terrible sleeper, but I'm a good sleeper, anyways. Good morning, guys. <clears throat> Good morning, you two. My hair is not a disgrace, but we move. I'll take it off this weekend, but get ready with me. Let's catch the bus in less than 10 minutes. I know how we're gonna do that, but let's do it. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed your intuition being played in front of you, but I don't know how to explain it, but like, it's important listen to your intuition because I've regretted several times for not listening to my intuition and it's been coming to play just right in front of me and I've regretted especially when uh, your intuition is asking you to reach out to a friend or when your intuition is remind you of certain things or remind you of someone please reach out to them first they need you at that point that's what they're in your thoughts so reach out to them reach out reach out and listen to it because I know a lot of you have I know a lot of you have regretted because you didn't listen to yourself I'm one a lot of things that I've regretted in my life that I didn't listen to my intuition and now if my intuition is saying this and my body or mind wants that, I go with the intuition because I can't afford to lose what happened. But you have to really be careful because you can also follow your intuition and get to the other way around. So it's not guaranteed. So you have to be mindful. But yeah, the cold lately is really bad. Look at my lips. A kraken. Who is gonna kiss this lips? I lie on. But I learned um, 25 people were dead during the cold last week at Tennessee and 16 people were dead at Oregon. Is it Oregon or Oregon? Oregon. Oregon. Perfect. Oregon. So yeah. That's how bad the cold was. This week is like it's better than last week, but anyway, stay warm. And this hair has done warm. I still look cute with it. Anyways, let's go before we get late today. Look at that. It did rain and I didn't know. Wow, what a terrible sleeper. <laughs> It rained and I have no idea that it did rain. I'm a terrible sleeper, but I'm a good sleeper anyways. It's going to be like this. It's even drizzling. Why is it I didn't pick an umbrella? I'm bad at it. I don't just always want to like, have an umbrella. I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. I feel like it takes space in my bag. And the bag that is going to obtain that umbrella is what I don't want to send to class. So yeah, today is Tuesday, they are taking trash and the environment is being polluted. I mean the air, kind of, but yeah. Let's go, bye. Guess who is on a break? I think it's better I put it on. Welcome home. Guess who is back from I left at nine nine to nine. That's like twelve hours shift in a day. So 
go shower. So, today I've realized that people don't keep track of what they've been saying. So it makes me have trash issue lately. Because you talk to them, let's say for instance, um, we are talking about meeting on Saturday. The following day, I meet you. Can we, and we are going to talk about what we spoke about yesterday. Didn't we stop out where we are gonna meet? Yes, uh, on Saturday. But hmm. tell me why. When I meet you today, you are telling me that we have to start all over, or you are making it look like we never even spoke about something like meeting on Saturday or something. I'm just using it for example, but that is what has been happening. So now it's just hard. If someone saying let's meet on Saturday I don't believe you I don't trust that you will appear on Saturday I've been going up and down let's say last week Monday five days today is Tuesday seven good days to a specific place and today they will tell me today oh don't worry we got it tomorrow they'll tell him what do you want here tomorrow next you'll be like oh what did i say yesterday really nigga because i don't understand what is happening and i'm so tired of people doing this to me now i'm gonna put myself first i don't care i don't care at this point i'm so mad if i say i'm not mad i'm so mad but i mean I told myself that I was not going to be mad this year, regardless of how much you push me. <laughs> you see me get mad. That's on period. If I want, mark it on the wall. If you make me mad one day, come back and refer to video. You will never make me mad. This video is gonna be your witness if I ever get mad. people been doing too much lately and I just hate it I hate to be appearing at the same place all the time just for one specific reason and that reason has been promised for seven good days that it's, it's gonna be sorted out till now <laughs> I'm so tired so I don't trust anybody even myself I don't trust myself but people been doing too much honestly and I'm so tired I wish I can just tell those people you're hurting my feelings. But even if you tell them, you're giving them another reason to even do it more. So what's the essence of doing or even telling them? So just swallow it. But voicing it out sometimes literally helps. So today I experienced this incident. So uh, this person actually said something to me but i heard something else i heard an insult so i was like in my mind i was contemplating should i ask this ask girl this girl should I, should I just let it go because what happened doesn't require an insult so i was like i'm just gonna let it go but my instinct was like just verify just verify so i called this girl to the to the side and i asked this is what transpired and this is what I hate why what I said literally didn't deserve that so why did you say that the person was like when did I say that? I said oh you literally said it right now 
right here she said no she never said that so we went back to the genesis of the story and you both realized that we both hurt each other differently she had something that i said and that wasn't what i said i had something she said and that wasn't what she said so you see i was like oh i'm glad i voiced it out because it was gonna pile up on me or in me and then i'm gonna end i'm not talking to the person avoiding the person just because of what i had wrongly so sometimes it's okay to be mad it's okay not to really understand someone or actually not get what they mean that's why we have come again what did you say can you repeat that so make good use of it and stop being mad unnecessarily anyways i'm going to journal and go to bed i'll see you guys tomorrow bye good night i love you don't forget to subscribe